um, Austrian Grand Prix has uh, finished a little while ago. I've just finished another video, which I'm going to le leave at the end of, on the end screen of this one, and uh, on a card in this one. So, so after you've watched my review of the Austrian Grand Prix, feel free to watch my reaction to Sebastian suspended sentence. Now, let's get into this review of the Austrian Grand Prix. But uh, before we do that, I would like you to take five seconds to click the subscribe button it would really help me out because i'm trying to get to 10 10 000 subscribers asap but with that, now we're really going to get into this review well it was quite an interesting race as far as i'm concerned we had the numerous track limits issues i lost count at the end of the at the end of the day because there were so many of them we had also had a number of crashes the first one being between um, Sergio Perez and George Russell, I think it was it was George Russell's fault because I think Sergio Perez was head at the time. We also had um, Gasly uh, punching off Sebastian Vettel. That was carbon copy of when Alban punted him off yesterday in the sprint race. Uh, feel free to watch watch my video of the sprint race after you've watched this one. I also gonna leave a link up in the corner. I felt really sorry for Carlos Sainz though because I think he did brilliantly. It was really unfortunate that the um, Ferrari engine gave up the ghost. You know he 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 drove a brilliant race. And and uh, I was quite scared for his safety, actually, because it took him a while to get out of the car. And I think it was scary that the uh, car started rolling down the hill. And I think it took a bit too long for the marshals to re respond, because I, I thought he is not going to get out and the car could go up in flames. But luckily, that didn't happen. Thank God. It was a great, great race. As far as Mercedes is concerned, finishing third and fourth, Hamilton finished in front of Russell. Absolutely epic. I think, uh, like I said in the in the previous video, I think the, the Mercedes are definitely back. I think uh, it won't be too much longer till the Mercedes are gonna actually win a race. Now, now I've said it. I hope I haven't jinxed it. We should wait and see. Leclerc won his first Grand Prix since. Australia was the last time he won a Grand Prix. It seems ages away, but I really enjoyed it. And uh, I think um, Sergio Perez is now totally out the running for the championship. What do you guys think? Actually, the same thing goes for Carlos Sainz. I think um, they both, Carlos Sainz has to play water boy to the clerk now, and Perez has to play water boy to, to um, Max Verstappen. I always. I always thought that was the case. Anyway, uh, but now I think no, I now I think it's official. I I'm also really pleased for Mick Schumacher finishing head of. Kevin Magnussen in sixth position with Magnussen finishing in eighth position. I think Mick is, is full of confidence now and I think uh, he's finally arrived in Formula One. I think he drove really well. Leclerc won the Grand Prix. But truly have been forced to pit due to te technical issues and on safety grounds. Just tell me what it was like in that car in those last few laps when you were having the issues you were having with the throttle. It was really bad. Uh, especially turn three and four was a disaster because the car was pushing a lot with the throttle being extremely inconsistent. So, uh, yeah, I just had to uh, manage it and. Uh, but at the end, I got to the finish line and uh, in first position. So. And in my opinion, that was a safety issue. So I don't understand why he didn't get a black and orange flag and um, got forced to pit on safety grounds. Those are just my reactions to the Austrian Grand Prix. Thanks for watching.